In this video, we're going to solve linear trigonometric equations in tangent and cotangent. So solve the following equation for theta on the interval 0 to 360 degrees. And 0 to 360 is one revolution around the unit circle, and it's also in degree mode. So we're going to treat this equation that has tangent theta in it, we're going to treat tangent theta just like x. So we're going to solve this equation like normal with pretending x is right here. So we're going to subtract 5 on each side. That'd be negative sine or negative 7 root 3 tan theta is equal to 21. Then we're going to divide each side by negative 7 root 3. And we end up with that cancels. I get tangent theta is equal to, well, this, when I divide 21 by negative 7, that's negative 3 over root 3 because this is 21 divided by 7 is 3. Uh, tan theta is equal to negative 3 over root 3. Well, when does this occur? Well, I'm going to go ahead and write this as, let's rationalize this denominator. I'm going to multiply by root 3 over root 3. And when we do that, we end up with tan theta is equal to negative, this would be 3 root 3 over 3. Well, the threes cancel, I get tan theta is equal to negative root 3. So I want to look at the first quadrant and figure out when does tangent theta equal root 3? Well, tangent theta is going to equal root 3 at 60 degrees because tangent is sine, which is root 3 over 2, divided by cosine, which is 1 over 2. And when I divide a fraction, I'm going to flip and multiply, and the 2s would cancel. So root 3 for tangent occurs at 60 degrees. But tangent is positive in quadrants 1 and 4. So we can't use 60 degrees in quadrant 1. We have to look at the negative quadrants, which would be 2 and 4. So we're going to look at, sorry, I said 1 and 3 earlier. I meant, uh, I said 1 and 4. I meant 1 and 3 earlier for these two quadrants being positive. So we're going to look at quadrants 2 and 4. So 60 degrees in quadrant 2 would be 120 degrees. And then uh, 60 degrees in quadrant uh, 4 would be, let's see, that would be 300 degrees. Because it would be 30 degrees past the y-axis. So these are the two spots where tangent is negative root 3. 